All right, so today is June 19th. I am at the Shouldice Hospital yard right now, just going for a walk outside. Um, I had my surgery yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta tell you, <coughs> coughing has damn near brought me to my knees a few times. It's uh, coughing, laughing, sneezing, anything that works the abdomen. It's, uh, it's tender. Um, so just to touch on a few things, the hospital's good. Um, you know, check-in took a little longer than I would have liked. I got, got to the hospital on Monday at 7 a.m. I didn't get to my room till about three in the afternoon, but it's kind of normal for here. So I expected that, not a big deal really. Uh, everybody was nice to deal with, so <clears throat> uh, that was good. Um, and then I had my surgery yesterday at 2, and it took 80 minutes. And so that one was, uh, it was pretty good actually. I didn't feel much at all. The IV. At the beginning, just a little pinch, no big deal. <clears throat> and then they sedate sedate you, and then uh, they start freezing you. So just a few little pinches around the uh, surgical site. Again, no big deal. And then, yeah, time just kinda flew by after that. I was kinda brought to, I guess, at the end of it, and everything went pretty, everything went good, um, except they did not find a hernia uh, for me. So if anybody's got uh, like a small hernia, which is what I had basically, I had no visible bumps whatsoever, <clears throat> but I did have an ultrasound done and they confirmed, uh, they confirmed hernias on my left and right side, uh, inguinal hernias, and uh, also the belly button, my umbilical hernia, they just said it's not even worth it to uh, operate on. People live with them, so uh, I guess good enough, because I'm telling you, one surgery is enough. I'm just barely getting around on day two here, but <clears throat> um, that's pretty good. The other thing is, um, when I came out of surgery, they didn't really say one way or another to take pain meds. So generally I try to stay away from Tylenol and like pain meds as a whole, that was a big mistake. I woke up in the middle of the night, um, and I needed some pain meds right away because, um, yeah, it hurt. I couldn't move around. Like I couldn't get comfortable really. So that was a mistake. Take the meds. Definitely take the meds. Um, I know it sounds silly to not take them, but uh, I didn't really know what I was in for. I'm telling you, take the meds. Uh, this yard though, I'm just gonna show you. This yard is something else. There is uh, lots of walking paths, uh, lots of wildlife. This place has a, quite a few acres and it backs onto a golf course. And so it's absolutely beautiful here. So to get out and exercise is actually very nice. Um, yeah, uh, vegan food. So, um, they have right on their sheet there, um, vegan. You can check it off and they give you a wristband. Only problem is uh, their staff hasn't really, in my experience, the staff had no idea what vegan was. So even though they have it on the sheet, <clears throat> they haven't done a very good job of letting their cooking kitchen staff know what vegan is. I suppose it's not that common, but common enough to have it on their checklist. So, um, haven't been overly impressed 
with the vegan options I've been eating mostly lettuce and tomato wraps and quinoa salads um, which is <clears throat> they're good just uh, it's kind of whatever not a big deal but it's a little annoying when I go for breakfast lunch and dinner <clears throat> And each time they're unsure what vegan is so far maybe they'll get it tomorrow i'm here till friday so they're not going to be operating on my other side because they said that's too small they want me to wait till it actually gets there and yeah that's fine with me so yeah in a nutshell um it's been good all in all uh the surgery went good I'm feeling a little bit better the day after. A lot of guys around here say there's a quantum leap on on the next day. Like, second day in, it's a big difference. So I'm hoping that's the case for me too. And, uh, yeah, just trying not to cough. Trying not to laugh. Trying not to sneeze. And, uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying the enjoying the grounds it really is <coughs> yeah i just about dropped to the, my knees there <coughs> it doesn't take a big cough muscles stomach muscles are pretty much pooched at the moment i don't know i must have a little cold too i don't normally have a <coughs> the need to cough like that but yeah so that's about it um, I think I covered everything I wanted to. Staff has been good. Um, friendly staff. Uh, the, the guys here, you know, the guys and the gals here. We're all in the same boat. So, there's some good camaraderie here. A few people have, this is their second time here. and Every one of them has said their first surgery is held up. So that's reaffirming. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that for now. And uh, that's my Shouldice Hospital review. Maybe I'll check in with some uh, updates in a little bit and let you know how I'm doing right now. I'm walking very gingerly and I'm a little hunched over. <clears throat> but uh, they do have exercises here to kind of help a person get up and they make sure you you walk around because pretty much the worst thing you can do is just sit and uh, let it get stiff so they really encourage just mild exercise nothing too strenuous a little walk out here I'm gonna go back this has only been a five ten minute walk so I'm headed back now. I'm ready to sit down and watch some Netflix. <clears throat> so that's it. Shouldice Hospital. Aside from uh, the vegan food, which I can't blame them. It's not really that popular. Um, it's been really good. So Shouldice Hospital gets a thumbs up for me and I'll check in in a week or two and let you know how I'm healing up. I'm feeling good. This is my first day back into uh, the gym. And all I'm doing today is some light stretching. Um, that's basically it. I'm just stretching today. It feels good. Um, Doc said six weeks just walking, so I'm gonna listen to him. Um, but I feel like I could do like a a modified workout with some lower weights but I don't think that'd be wise so um, yeah all in all everything is going good <clears throat> just a couple things that I'm noticing um, so yeah tomorrow will be four weeks and the uh, operation site it's a little bit um, it's a little bit numb in some spots and it's uh, it almost feels uh, it almost feels like I have razor burn in some areas it's kind of like around the operation site it's 
it's sensitive and I'm chalking that up to the nerve ends uh, or the nerves healing up and that's that's what's happening there um, other than that the site itself has like a hard feel to it it's almost like there's a, a marker or a pen in there like underneath the skin it's hard and uh, but I did talk to uh, one of my uh, one of the guys that was getting an operation that I was sharing the room with the same operation and he said he had it about 15 years ago and he said after about six months that that hardness will kind of go away and it'll the tissue breaks up and softens up so that was good to good to know because I wasn't sure if that was going to be there forever or not but um, yeah so the site itself has some numbness the wound uh, or the incision has uh, healed very nicely um, I'm feeling good I'm very mobile um, everything's good so um, yeah that's it hey so it's um, seven months after my surgery and um, it's good everything's awesome I'm back to 100% um, have been for a while um, I've modified my lifting just because I want to take it easy for the first year not because uh, I, it, it hurts or anything just because I think it's just smart to give it a year <clears throat> to heal up so I've been doing mostly calisthenics not a whole lot of uh, heavy lifting um, yeah no pain really um, at all it's there's definitely a different feeling down there occasionally uh, at the surgery site but uh, there was a surgery there so that's normal um, so I just wanted to go over a few things uh, I'm from Alberta and um, the costs were uh, about 50 to 70 percent covered um, I got a check back from Alberta Health so 50 to 70 percent some of it was <coughs> excuse me I'm just looking at this uh, the different services provided so depending on which service um, anesthesia Anesthesiologist was covered at about 50%, and then the physician cost was covered at about, yeah, 80%. And the, uh, the room and other services, as far as I can tell, that was what the charge was that was covered at about 50 percent so I got a good chunk of a good chunk of money back um, so whatever you put up for health care costs you're gonna get at least 50 percent back from the Alberta government and then I have uh, manual life uh, benefits and that covered the semi-private room at uh, 100% so I didn't pay anything so um, beside my travel from uh, Alberta to the hospital that was all my expense but uh, the room and board was covered by my group insurance and then the actual uh, medical fees uh, Alberta Health paid for better than 50% of them um, yeah other than that I think that's pretty much it for the for what a person might be interested in about uh, shoulder ice yeah do your own research but uh, that mesh is some scary shit so I definitely in my personal uh, research if you can uh, if you have the means to go to shoulder ice it's uh, definitely the uh, more safer option and uh, long-term option as well my surgery has been been holding up really well I feel good um, yeah I'm gonna be oh yeah the other thing I wanted to mention was um, 
being that I was so far away, I had a remote consultation done. So I had to fill out paperwork. I had my local uh, doctor, surgeon, review me and fill out the forms for shoulders, saying that I had uh, three hernias. Um, but when I got there, I had three small hernias, but they only showed up on ultrasound. They weren't physically coming out. They weren't noticeable on the outside whatsoever. So when I got there, uh, they only, I was scheduled in for three. They only did one. And, uh, yeah, they said, wait for the other two to get, uh, physically, physically protruding. Um, so yeah, my left side is, is, uh, the one that was operated on and fixed. And uh, my right side, it's still there, but it's, it's minor uh, relatively to other uh, hernias. So I'm just going to live with it. It's not bothering me at all. Um, so uh, the left side was what was kind of causing a little bit of... My symptoms were just uh, puffiness, really. It was just kind of the abdominal fluid was going into my groin area and just causing a bit of puffiness, but no real pain or anything. So, um, and then I had the umbilical hernia, which is very, very minor. It's just in my belly button. There's just like a little, little bit poking down. It's not even anything to worry about. So they said just, they're, they're not even going to waste time and cause more harm than good to do surgery on it. Um, so yeah, I guess if you guys got any questions, uh, about my experience at uh, Shouldice or anything at all in regards to uh, my hernia or your hernias, I suppose. Um, any questions at all, I'd be happy to uh, share my experience and, and uh, hopefully get you uh, some good information that can help you on your uh, journey to uh, recovery. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching the video and I hope it helps.